I never imagined I'd be fighting alongside an alien in a world torn apart by their invasion. But when Alex came into our lives, everything changed. With Max by my side and Alex's knowledge, we took a stand against the alien forces. We weren't heroes, just ordinary survivors pushed to do extraordinary things. Together, we showed that even in the darkest times, hope and resilience can unite us. Hey, I'm Tommy. I never thought I'd go on a wild adventure, but then I found this map. Rio, my parrot, and I, we followed it into places I'd only seen in books. These are just some short films that I've been able to create with LTX Studio. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do the exact same thing. First, you can create a story using a simple prompt. Secondly, you can use an idea or a script that you already have to create your film. The third option is creating your story from scratch. And with this, you're going to have a blank canvas and you're going to create your storyboard short by short. For this tutorial, we'll be using a prompt. So once you're here, just go ahead and input an idea of what you want to create. So now I'm just going to input a simple prompt over here. Then I'm going to hit next. So now this new window will open up and as you can see, they have already created a story overview depending on the prompt that I gave them. And you can go ahead and customize some of these things. For instance, I can go ahead and change the story title. That is the name of the story. Then you can go ahead and choose the aspect ratio that you want. After that, you can also go ahead and choose the video style that you want. As you can see, there are so many over here. I'm just going to choose 3D model. You can also choose to upload an image to act as your style reference. Now with this, they're going to transfer the style of the image that you've uploaded and apply it to your entire story. So we are just going to upload an image over here. I'm just going to use this image. As you can see, every change that you make is made in real time. Now our cast is being created in reference to the image that we've just uploaded. As you can see, our images have been created in reference to the image that we just uploaded. Now you can go ahead and edit parts of these images that you do not like. You can go ahead and do a face swap if you wish. You can also go ahead and edit the entire cast. You can also go ahead and change parts of the story that you do not like. In the story overview, if you do not like anything there, you can go ahead and change it up a bit. Also note that you can change the style reference intensity. And with this, you can choose how strongly or weakly you want your images to resemble the image reference. You can also add a character to the cast and you can also go ahead and edit the existing cast. To do this, just go up here and click on add character. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with this form where you can input the name of your character, the age. You can also input their style, their appearance, and all these other tiny details. You can also go ahead and input the voice that is going to represent your character. Finally, hit apply and your new character will be created. You can also edit the details of an existing character. You can change their name. You can change their age. For instance, let's say we wanted our character to be 25 instead of 10. So this is what you're going to get in the same reference. So now this is our new character, but I want my character to remain 10. So I'm just going to return that to 10. Then you can also change all these other details like what they are wearing and everything else. Then once you're satisfied, all you need to do is just go to the very bottom and click on apply. You can go ahead and do this for all your cast members until you're satisfied with how they look, how they're dressed and everything else that is supposed to represent them in the story. Once you're satisfied with everything, we are just going to go ahead and click on start and this is going to create our storyboard. So let's just go ahead and do that. Here is our storyboard and this is where you're going to fine tune the story to make sure it is exactly to your liking. Now the storyboard is divided into several scenes and each scene has several shots. In the scene setting, you can go ahead and change the location of where the scenes take place. You can also change the lighting, the weather. In the sound tab, you can also change the voiceover that will be used for your narration or even for the character. Now the storyboard creation is complete, so you can go ahead and check the images. Just make sure that they represent the scene that is there or the shot, the specific shot. You can also go through all these images to make sure that the images have been generated according to the prompting or according to the story. In this section, you can also go ahead and interchange the scene. So 
all you need to do is drag and drop a scene on top of the other you can also change the shot of the image that has been provided all you need to do is go to the shot type and you can choose the image that you want for instance i want this to have a bad view i feel like it would look much better with that so let's just go ahead and regenerate the image with that view and as you can see our new image looks so much better you can also choose to edit a prompt to get a better image for instance if you feel like the image provided isn't up to standard now i do not particularly like these images so i'm just going to delete the image reference that i input earlier so back to the project settings and i'm just going to go back to the style reference and i'm going to delete the image that i input earlier next i'll hit apply and this is going to generate a whole new set of images as you can see so i think i like the new images better so i'm just going to go with this now now if you want to just regenerate an image and not just change the entire prompt just come over here and hit this button and your a new image is just going to be generated for you to download a specific image all you need to do is come to the very top and just click on download and that is going to download that specific image for you next you can go ahead and change the soundtrack so up here just click on soundtrack and you can go ahead and upload your own so all you need to do is click on the upload button and you'll be able to upload your own soundtrack then hit apply you can also choose to change the voiceover by going to the voiceover tab and here you'll be able to change whether to have a narrator or to just have a character do their own voice so i'm just going to go with narrator and you can also choose the specific voice that you want to be used in the narration so once you've gone through your entire storyboard and made sure that the scenes are okay every shot is okay every image is fine you all you need to do is now go ahead and generate a video so you're just going to hit on this generate a video for each of these images we are just going to give this a minute to generate the process is actually really quick and once the videos are ready just go through the videos make sure that the videos are okay and if you do not like any particular video all you need to do is just go ahead and hit regenerate the video button so like here i'm just going to hit on this button and i'm going to get an entirely new video so you can go ahead and regenerate all the videos that you do not like but once you're satisfied with everything you can hit preview or you can just go ahead and export directly so i'm just going to hit the preview button and see how the video looks before i export it hey i'm tommy i never thought i'd go on a wild adventure but then i found this map now if you're satisfied with the entire video all you have to do is hit export now there are several ways that you can export your videos but for me i'm just going to download this as an mp4 video so i'm just going to the very bottom and i'm going to download this as an mp4 you can go ahead and try LTX Studio and let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.